You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> What's going on guys? You know the vibes. Happy Thursday. I'm here with the Black Ink Crew New York Review Recap. Um, if you're new, you know, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that beautiful stuff, you know. So here's the thing with this show. I don't give a damn about Bay and, and Rob marriage, relationship, or whatever. But I'm gonna say this because I only want to talk about it. They call her mother to come because her and Rob having problems apparently. Every time they, they have an argument, he leaves and she lonely and all this stuff. And, but you know, I'm just like, man, you got with the guy so quick, you married him so quick, now you trying to divorce him so quick. Like, I ain't here for Bay. Like I said, she, the man lost his job because he couldn't, you know, physically do his job. He was the bread one now he ain't making no money. It's just a whole, to me, it's just a whole bunch of bull, man. They need to sit her behind that. I wouldn't have even let him be put this stuff on TV. I'm sorry, and I know I don't want a full story, but I'm just going out for the TV shows. The man can't work. He used to make him money. He can't make no money, and he, you know, he he, he at home playing daddy daycare while you in the, 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 the tattoo shop making all this dope. Like, come on, now. Then you bring your mama, I don't, I don't you know. Uh, anyway. So anyway, this this episode, oh man, uh, what the girl, what the boy name? Walt. Walt, you know, Walt been dating this chick named Jess. So we find out, you know, Jess is, you know what I'm saying, this little shouting from, you know, four years ago when Dutch was on the show, it was up in the mountains or whatever, skiing, and the girl helped, um, what the girl, Dutch is jump. Donna and, 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 and all that. So Donna, you know, recognized her face and all that. And the girl came on and said that she didn't knew, she did not really know Duchess, but Walt invited her on a ski trip. But, um, you know, just the Brooklyn in her, the Harlem in her, wherever she from, you know, when she sees somebody that she with jump off, she got to pop off too. It's low, you feel me? And I can respect that, you know what I'm saying? And then we talking about Donna, like, who cares? So, Don made this whole episode about her. She go as far as to not speak to Walt and tell Walt in order for her and him to remain friends. He gonna have to leave little Shawty alone. And I'm just like, who, who the hell are you holding me? Who, who are you? Donna, they, it's time for her to go. Please, I, I don't, I can't. You know, you watch a show and somebody just aggravate that. Like, I just said in my Black Ink Company review, when them cameras, when them people say action, people just black, we like, we just act about a plum fool, like just, just for the attention and the spotlight. And I'm, that would be pissing me off, dog. So she mad at this man because he dating, dating this woman who has completely turned his life around. Apparently they've been off and on, you know, dealing with each other for, you know, four, five plus years or whatever. Now they decide to make it a, an official thing. And so, you know, Walt in the best place he's been in a long time. He's clean and he's happy. And you be happy for your brother. Put that petty mess in the, like, you ain't even know Shawty. You know what I'm saying? Shawty, like, Donald just be pissing me off, man. So now I gonna be a whole beef between Walt and his girl Jess versus Donna. I'm team Walt and I don't even like Walt at all. Cause he don't do that. No, he, he assistant manager. Like, you know, so anywho, um, as I was watching this show, um, is that right? Okay, anyway, as I was walk, uh, watching this show, I was saying to myself, Caesar only keeps this shop at 113 open to film this show because they don't really put any of his other black inks on the camera, especially not now. You know, I know last season, they tried to do a little bit of Atlanta, New Orleans, and his other shop in New York. They, they don't. It, this shop is specifically designed for this show because it ain't nothing but a shit show. Everybody, boyfriends and girlfriends come to the place of work, and it's just a whole bunch of mess that go on. Let me get back on the show. So. Let's talk about Sky. So Sky calls Caesar 
tail season that, you know, she's supposed to be back in New York, but she need to stay in Miami a little while longer and figure out what she gonna do, um, how she gonna support her son, Dez, Dez or whatever his name. And from what I understand, he ain't even in Miami. The boy stay in Atlanta or something. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I could be wrong. And so my thing is, see, Sky is one of those people that we, we you know, we come across people like this in our life who, when they're at the peak of their emotions, they say a lot of things that they do not mean. And we as, as friends and loved ones, we have to realize that when we analyze in the whole situation. Because she said some mad stuff to that boy. She told her she disowned him. She told her, oh, he, he stole from me, you a bum, and you this and you that. I, I get it, just nasty. But, and, and, and y'all know I don't like Sky. But that we do have people in our lives that when they are at the peak of their emotions, they just, they don't know how to control it well and get what they need to get out the best way possible. You get what I'm saying? So now she's kind of walking back her comments and what she said and saying she needs to help him. She wants to help him. And I like that. That's very mature, Scott. She's realizing that she cannot abandon this boy even though he didn't, you know, pissed off. And, you know, all that good stuff. But here's the thing. An apology, the first thing she does when she gets in touch with this boy. Because that stuff that she told him, you know, like I said, he said, he's like 18, 19. He ain't an adult the way he can be like, okay, you know, that's just who she is. She ain't meaning none of that. So the first thing she need to do is, is, is uh, you know, send him some love and apologize and then see if she can get the relationship back on. Cause like, I don't like Sky, but I, I you know, I do want to see her have a relationship with her sons, at least one of them, because even though you can speculate whether or not, I don't even want to take it down. I would just like to see her have a healthy relationship with them. And especially this one, because when we was first introduced to him, he wasn't going down this path. He wasn't drinking, smoking, but then over the seasons, he was living with somebody who got shot. Now he's living with his brother, smoking, getting high, selling dope and all that stuff. So we didn't, you know, you know, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. So also moving on in this episode, Caesar baby mama crystal. She gone, she goes to season and was like, she need him to take care of their daughter for about a couple of weeks because she having jaw surgery, basically plastic surgery. She goes as far as to tell Caesar that since they have broken up, she don't feel pretty anymore. She don't feel, you know, them vibes that she just attract men. And you know, look, I get it. Baby, I get it. You know, you don't want me and I don't want you, so I need you to do what you do to make sure you got somebody. You know what I'm saying? I know Caesar probably, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was like, he didn't have no plastic surgery, he'll be all right, but I get it. I Plastic surgery don't bother me. It, it, like, it, it don't, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like as a person, male or female, that you need to make some enhancements to your personal appearance, your physical appearance, by all means, do what you do, boo. Like, it does not bother me, but so, Caesar came around to it, because here's the thing, nobody, let me tell you something, dog. Uh, uh, what did Drake say in one of his son? His mama said that she don't want to be 70 and alone. Don't nobody want to be single forever. Nobody. You know, you need your little boo thing. You need your little cutting. But you need some. And this just seems like she's just single. So I can't wait to see how she look with the jaw surgery. Because I, I do think she got some pretty, you know, fat jaws with some fat teeth. So maybe we can get all of that. She's going to get all that, you know, how she want it. And then she's, the men start rolling in. So I'm down for it. I, I really am down for it. So, Caesar got to hold, run the whole daddy daycare, his little spoiled daughter, all that. We don't even care about none of that. So, anywho, moving on. Um, Puma went to Caesar saying he needed his help rectifying the situation with Kwani and all of this good stuff. But Kwani ain't letting, letting go that she got jumped four years ago either, or however long it was ago. So, Puma arranged a little date night. Caesar pop up. Caesar, I think Caesar like apologized to him. And she was like, I'm not gonna forgive you, but I can move on and I won't forget. So it seemed like they, you know, that relationship going in the right direction, which I'm happy about. Cause I ain't got time to be giving. I, I, I don't like, is it just me? But I don't like when girlfriend and boyfriends get a storyline that's just heavy. 
Like, not a good petty, but just stupid petty. Like, we ain't even know you got jumped. We ain't even know if we Googled your name, we'll see your black eye. My old lady Googled it and showed it to me. I was like, well, I mean, she ain't one of the main characters. We ain't got no business Googling her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that's just me. Like, I don't know. We can't be giving life to all that. So, anyways, uh, moving on. Um, uh, what else? Oh, so they had a tattoo contest. Caesar's assistant, Q. You know, Caesar, like, he was working, putting in the work. He won him a award with some free ink. So, Crystal um, and the other two tattoo artists, Q and, um, not Q, but Mike. And I forget the other one. Uh, they put together a drawing of what the man won, and he picked one. And, it seemed he, and he picked Mike to do his tattoo. It was two dudes and one male. I mean, two dudes and one female. He picked Mike to do it. I think he was trying to flirt with Mike the whole time. Because he really... You know, thought Mike was cute and, you know, he can add him to the roster and all that good stuff. But, I mean, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that's that. So, moving on. So, Kit calls Tati. Gives Tati an update on her mother's um, health situation. And I want to say this before I get serious. You know, Uber has really finessed the game to where they have us thinking that these folks, have chauffeurs. You get what I'm saying? And that ain't nothing but an Uber driver, man. The camera that got in the Uber, that, that's all. Yeah, I just want to throw it out there. I don't know why I'm just being petty, but moving on. So basically, Kit let Tati know that her mother's not doing well. Her dad's not doing well. You know, he just can't uh, see his wife like that and all of that. And she gave us a rundown. You know, 2015, she was diagnosed with. Uh, uterine cancer, then that turned into lung cancer, and now it's brain cancer. Like, it's, her mother has had a tough four, three to four years, depending on, you know, when she got diagnosed in 2015. She has had a tough, and, you know, next week episode, I believe it shows the kid's mother passed away, and, I, you know, I'll just say it again, man. The older you get, Especially when you, you know, you you got, you got an older age and you have to get all this chemo. It's just they just get tired of fighting the fight. That's that that that's all it is. They just get a little tired of fighting the fight and they just rather go home and be with Glory. That's really all it is. It ain't nothing more than that. But so that's sad for Kit. So you know, uh, you know, wish her and her family the best wishes and all that good stuff, and hopefully they can get through it, you know what I'm saying? Cause death is never easy, so. Also, I forgot to say this. Donna thought it was a good idea. She was just gonna be petty and just break some, break them up. She told Jess, walk old lady that him, that, that hun walk smashed a couple times. Like, that's why she ain't deal with him like that. I am like, she, she had to go. I'm sick of her. Now, it's the last thing I wanna say when I say this for last. So walk to his old lady on a rock climbing date. And so, um, me and me and my lady was looking at it a little bit last night, and my lady was like, that'll be nice. And, and sometimes I feel like my old lady just be forget. Like, it was like maybe two summers, last, the summer before last, two summers ago. You know, we was on this this cruise, and they had a little rock climbing. And, you know, I, 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 mean, I was scared. I was terrified. My mama to this day still got that video of me Fall oh, in my bit, but my like, dude, no, I'm not getting back on nobody rock. Sometimes I, I just feel like she be forgetting that like, I'm scary. Like I'm not adventurous like she is, and she sees stuff like that. And I mean, well, yeah, you can go, and I'll cheer you on from down here, but I'm not going. Sometimes I just forget. Like we know was in the middle of an old shit, and we talking about climbing up, looking by, seeing no. Oh Jesus, boy, I'm, oh no. That wasn't for me. Rock climbing is not for me. But that's all, that, that's all I want to say. I'm sure when she see it, she'll laugh. But if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be sure to like, comment, and share. I'm out of here. Peace.